Monday as I was sitting in the confessional for six hours for our, our diocesan wide penance campaign, listening to people, their hurt, their weaknesses, I realized just how stressed we'd become as a people, as a people of goodness and as a people of faith. The reality is these last two years have been a true challenge for all of us with this pandemic, with this economy now, with the situation in Ukraine. It has to affect the human spirits of every one of us. And that's why perhaps Easter is given to us this year, to give us everything that this holy day promises to all of us in the resurrection of Jesus Christ. He endured his suffering and so must we, because we know it's that suffering in our lives that leads us to glory, as it did in his. And not only glory that we saw his own, but a glory that he shares with us in the joy of resurrection. I truly hope we can celebrate this Easter day with a renewed hope, with renewed faith, with the new trust that this God is ever near to us. And no matter what surrounds us, no matter how much difficulty comes into our lives, this there God is there to walk with us and to take the journey with us. May this Easter hold many, many blessings for each one of you. Let us pray in a special way for those who turned away from the practice of our faith, especially the members of our own families, that through our example and through our prayers, they might see the beauty of faith. They might bring it better to themselves and in doing so bring it to this world. We need to come together and there's no place or no one better to come together than in Christ Jesus, the risen Lord. And so we sing our alleluias. We give praise to God for his son and we give thanks to the Lord God that we who believe know what is waiting for us. God bless and very happy Easter and very holy day.